What's up everybody and in this video let's talk about the real reason you haven't left the relationship yet and that is self-respect. Now I'm going to be talking about this because I came to this realization myself and it was coming to this realization that really was the last uh, straw for me with my previous relationship as to the reason why I finally made the decision to end it and to end it for good and so with that being said, I want to walk you through a little bit of my reasoning behind this, a little bit of why I came to this realization, a little bit of my story so that you understand how this really did it for me. And as I go through this story, I hope that you understand how this can be the game changer for you when you understand this concept. Why I say the number one reason why you haven't left the relationship yet is self-respect. And as I've made many videos, Previously on this channel, I was in a relationship and I was dating a covert passive aggressive narcissist and it was difficult to come to that realization and this this can go for any relationship. This is not just that relationship. It's really any relationship in general where you are with a person that you are not truly happy with and you know in your heart in here that this unhappiness is is not it means that you're not you're with someone that you're not compatible with and you know in your heart you're not supposed to be with that person yet you're still with that person anyway if it was the opposite way around you would know that maybe you're just in a temporary setback with a person and your connection is just momentarily not as great as it could be and in that case you could decide to work something out but these are this video is for the people that really you know in your heart if you dig deep inside of yourself and you go way past surface level you know you're not supposed to be with this person yet you still find yourself in this relationship and you haven't left yet and maybe you've kept going back in circles or you're breaking it off going back on or you're just in this cycle where you haven't really committed to either way of fully going about things you're not fully committed to leaving the relationship and you're really maybe not fully committed to being in the relationship and the reason you're not fully committed to being in the relationship is because you haven't been very happy in it but there's also another part of you on the other side that doesn't want to leave the relationship because you have built up memories and connections and bonds with another person so this is the exact situation really that i found myself in that i i was in this relationship previously where i wasn't fully happy because of the way that the relationship was going and i'm not going to say that i was perfect in the relationship because i want i wasn't and and i'm a human and i make mistakes and you know with that being said there were also a lot of things done to me in the relationship that didn't make me want to be in the relationship but when i dug down deep into the core i knew that it wasn't right for me and the reason that it wasn't right for me was because I knew that I wasn't being fully appreciated as I should have been and I wanted to accomplish my goals in life and it felt like the person that I was dating at that time was taking away so much life energy and happiness from me that I felt like I was letting the rest of my life slip by me by deciding to be in this relationship that wasn't really adding to my quality of life and as time kept going forward, I entered into this situation with this girl where really I felt like I truly loved this girl. And I, I can honestly still say that I do love this girl and I do care about her happiness. And I think that regardless of the way that people, the way that the situations we went through, through and the way that she treated me and, and the things that I've said, I can still say that I love someone because I take their happiness as a part of my own and I care about her happiness and I wish her a truly happy life. And so it's difficult when you make a connection with someone and you care about someone, but you're also not happy. And this puts you in a really weird spot. At least I felt like I was in a really weird spot because I didn't know what road was the right road because society is, you know, telling you to find the you know person you're supposed you you get along with and you settle down with that person forever and that's what society tells you to do you know you get married and you you stick it around with this one person because they want to stick it around with you but maybe that's really not 
the right way of going about things. And the more time that I spent thinking to myself that I was in this relationship where things just kept going back and forth and I wasn't truly happy, eventually what started happening was there were multiple instances in this relationship where one, I knew I wasn't fully as happy as I could be. And two, I wasn't being treated with um, the due respect that I thought I should have. I wasn't treated as well as I should have been. And there was something inside of me this whole time that was bothered by the fact that I continued to go back into a relationship where I wasn't being treated with 1000% um, effort. And because I wasn't being treated with this, you know, full effort where someone was giving them, you know, where I was giving another person my all and they were giving me their all. Essentially what I started noticing that made me more unhappy than anything was that I felt like I was disrespecting myself. And the reason that I felt like I was disrespecting myself was because I was allowing myself to go back into a situation where one, I knew I wasn't happy and two, I knew I wasn't getting treated the way that I should have been and I wasn't getting the happiness and, and life that I deserved to get out of the relationship. And the more that I allowed myself to continue entering back into this situation, the more I realized I was disrespecting myself. And this is regardless of the times that she disrespected me outright and that I had to, you know, communicate to her to please not disrespect me in the ways that she did. And I feel like for me as a person, I can handle when people disrespect me. That's in a way, it doesn't truly bother me that much. I guess what really bothered me more than anything was that I was really disrespecting myself at the end of the day because I was sacrificing my long-term happiness in order to be in an unhappy relationship for the longevity of the relationship rather than the quality of the relationship. And because I was sacrificing my own happiness and really my own whole life, because it started affecting my whole life when I started feeling literally symptoms of depression and other stuff. This started affecting my whole life. And I realized that the person in this relationship that was the problem was really myself. Because if I cared about myself and I loved myself to the fullest extent, and I was giving myself my 100%, then I wouldn't allow myself to be in the relationship that I was in. Because I can't rely on anybody else to change. And I kept hearing times over and over again that, you know, she kept saying she was gonna do things differently whenever we had a communication in certain situations. But you can't rely on anybody else to change. The only person you can rely on is yourself to change. And that whole time, I wasn't changing for myself. I was stuck acting in the ways that I was acting because it was, I guess, comfortable. And what eventually ended up happening because of all this is I started deteriorating my own self-esteem. And I started getting rid of my own happiness. And essentially, I was allowing myself to continuously be in a situation and in a position where really I was making myself miserable because I can't blame the other person for everything that happened. I can really only take responsibility for myself and my actions and my decisions. And if truly at the end of the day, I valued my own life happiness and my own self-respect over anything anybody else ever does to me, then I would have made the decision to leave the relationship. And one morning when I woke up, I forget how, but I re but this thought came to me. I believe, actually, now that I remember, me and her were having a conversation and I was so extremely unhappy that I kid you not, I cried. <laughs> and I just had so much built up 
emotion and pent up just frustration. And I realized it took me a split second to realize that this whole time I thought that I was frustrated with her when I wasn't. I was really frustrated with myself. I was frustrated with myself for allowing myself to be in that situation for as long as I allowed myself to be in it. And for that reason, when I came to that realization, that was the moment that everything changed for me because that was the moment that I told her at that second that I was not going to be able to be with her and that I had to leave the relationship for good forever and that I wasn't potentially ever going to see her ever again in my life. I was potentially never going to ever talk to her again in my life, which is kind of a difficult thing to say to someone when you care about them. You know, I was telling her, hey, just so you know, I might literally never see you or talk to you ever again because I just can't do it to myself. I told her, don't take it personal. I just can't do this to myself anymore. And of course, you know, that conversation and the relationship finished up. But at the end of the day, all that really mattered, regardless of all, you know, honestly, the bullshit that I went through. I am more happy with myself now than I could have been if I hadn't stood up for myself in that way. And I had to stand up to myself and tell myself, Chris, you cannot allow yourself to continue going through this unless you want to be depressed for your whole life. And nobody wants that. So when I realized that, that's when everything changed for me. And I want you to take some time to think for yourself in today's video growth challenge is if you're truly respecting yourself. If you're, are you respecting your desires? Are you respecting your happiness? Because at the end of the day, you can't blame the other person for you living an unhappy life. If you're continuously allowing yourself to be in an unhappy situation and it stings and it's not the pretty thing to say, the pretty thing to say is to tell you, Hey, it's the other person's fault. You're the victim here. But that's not going to help you change. And that's not going to help you change your life and be in a happy situation. It sucks. But I have to be honest with you just like I have to be honest with myself. So I want you to take some time. And if you're willing to look at yourself in the mirror, which most of us are, most of us have the emotional maturity and capacity to do so. You can look in the mirror and really take some time to think for yourself. Are you respecting what you truly want out of life? And if you're not, it's time to make a change. And you know, without me even having met you, you know in your heart right now what the right decision is. Regardless of the superficial confusions right now, listening to me and listening to this, you know deep in your heart what the truth is. You know what the right answer is and what you need to do. I don't know what it is for you, but only you do. And I want you to listen to that. And it's going to take a lot of courage. Just don't ignore it because it's in there. It's inside of you and you're supposed to listen to it. All right. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, hit subscribe down below, get a free legend wristband. I ship these out to you guys. Um, just help me out with shipping. I send you the wristband for free and I'll see you in the next video.